How much money can I make from 24 hours of training Slayer on World 45 Deadman mode? Now this idea has been in the works for a little bit of time. I always wanted to see how much money I can make doing a certain activity and then swap that money over to 07 to see well how profitable things are. So if you guys have any ideas of different monsters that I could kill for X amount of hours and then swap over to 07 to see how profitable they actually are, do let me know in the comments just to give you a little bit of ideas. I'm planning planning on doing abyssal demons, necreals, gargoyles, all those creatures that make you a lot of money and are fun to kill, but if you have any extra suggestions, throw them in the comments. And then another thing I want to shout out in this video before we fully jump into it is my Instagram. I recently opened an Instagram and just to invite you guys over to follow it, we're gonna be doing a little bit of a giveaway. Now all the money we make in this episode will go towards one lucky follower on the Instagram. So go ahead and check the description for that. But with that being said, I really hope you guys will enjoy today's video. And uh, yeah, let's jump right into it. First task of the video, and that was a fire giant task. We got about 70k with some extra herbs, so I'd say about 80k. Let's see what the next one is. And there we go, straight up the money task, gargoyles. Let's start making some money. Gargoyle task completed for two mysterious emblems and 500k. And then the one after that is some Abbey Specs. This one will give me a bit of a profit. Trip number one of Abbey Specs completed for 150k. And honestly, this is gonna be more than 150k because every herb sells for more than the, you know, standard value or whatever that shows um, in the looting bag. So very cool. And the task is completed. And once again, the loot from uh, the second trip will be... 80k, a little bit more, quite a lot more actually, and uh, well, Runeful Helm, uh, Renars and stuff like that. Very decent task for profit. Save tasks anymore, Fire Giants. All right, we're gonna do those. We just got 89 defense on the task. I don't know exactly when, I'm kind of heavily AFKing this one, but pretty ni pretty damn nice. I, uh, I'm very close to having 90 base melee stats, which is kind of cool. And my range is getting up very nicely as well. Almost 89 on that one too. So the next one will be fire giants again, as if I just didn't do them. But anyways, let's go ahead and sell all the loot. We got about 50k, they say. Let's sell everything and see if that is exactly 50k. 52k from the sales. All right, the task is done. We got 70k in the first trip, 40k in the second trip. Can we get some hellhounds and start with some... Ooh, okay, I'll... okay, okay, abyssal demons and a lot of them. That's gonna be very, very fun. There it is, 95 strength already. Oof, a lot of XP to 96. No way, I got it. I actually got it. Oh, it looks so beautiful. I don't have the ground items on, I see. There it is. Look how beautiful this looks. And that is about 7 million, 07, right there in that deposit box. Because it is about 3 million in Deadman mode. And it is also... Obviously the 2.2 .2 to 2.5 swap rate, so it's honestly close to 8 mil, if not over 8 mil 07 that we just got with that beautiful, beautiful whip. I'm super happy. That's the first one we've got. I might have the ability to check the KC real quick. Log, 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 abyssal demons. We've killed 300, so we are 200 and something under the drop rate. I think it's 1 in 512. On the top of my head, I might be wrong for the whip, so we got lucky. Feels very. I know I needed like a thousand on my Iron Man, and on a regional Deadman World tournament, I once went 1,800 dry for a whip. So this is very nice to see, and uh, it's now safely in my safety deposit box, and we're gonna go again. And the next hit, there it is, 92 attack as well. Ooh, that was a long one. So in this task, we got 180k, just about a bunch of rune stuff and whatnot. And on top of that, we obviously got that abyssal whip, which is probably worth about seven to eight million oh seven. All right, let's see what the new task will be. Does devils? We are going bursting again. Oh, I'm getting attacked. Hold up. Okay, right, I made it because it was only one guy. If it's only one guy, I can tank it, but survived it, so that's really good. Now, from the first trip, we made 170k, probably a little bit more. These Renards do sell for a bit more, um, but damn, that shit makes you 
scared. I, I guarantee, like, if you play Denver mode, no matter how good of a picker you are, you get caught in multi like that, you start shaking. But 170k, we're gonna go back in a couple of minutes. Hopefully, that guy is no longer there, and uh, yeah. And there it is, 92 Slayer, and this guy is looking at me weird, and I am scared. I didn't record the previous trip because, well, I had to bank very quickly because of my food that came. Uh, I got a 100k in my last trip, 135k in this trip, and also an Ancient Shard. So very nice, also extremely close to 92 Magic, and we got to 92 Slayer in the process as well. I'm really excited to see what the new task is gonna be. And let's go ahead and, and sell some stuff. I do think the DDS might go for a little bit more than just 20k. And uh, yeah, let's see how much uh, we get from that. So, so far in this video, we've made 1.8 mil plus this whip that's still selling. So about 3 mil, hopefully it sells eventually. So very good progress so far. Let's go ahead and kill some black demons. This is one of the tasks where I lose money doing it, but we got about 80k from that one, 85k. Obviously lost a lot of cannonballs, but got a nice amount of experience, so it really is worth doing. However, we are just counting the profits in this video, so 80k more to the collection um, coming in. Let's see what the next task is gonna give us. For some gargles, nice, this task is my favorite because it gives you a lot of money, so really happy with this one. I said it before, I'll say it again, my favorite task, Gargoyles completed 600k easily with these steel bars probably selling for a bunch more as well. Super exciting to sell all this loot and uh, yeah, these tasks always add up. These and Necreals are just perfect for the money. Um, but yeah, let's see what the next task is. We're getting very close to 90 defense as well. We are going back. Let's do more Beastle Demons. Let's see if we can get lucky and score ourselves another whip. That would be amazing. There is actually no way. There is actually no way. I just got another whip. And ladies and gentlemen, believe it or not, this sell for 3 million because we got one earlier. So that's an extra 8 million 07 that we just got like that. Now, can you believe it? How profitable slaying on dead man mode actually is. Now, I, I got pretty lucky, obviously, getting two whips. I'm definitely going uh, to bank it right after this kill. I do not want to risk an extra whip on top of me but just to keep it in perspective with those two whips i can pretty much re-afford the entire gear but obviously this video is not about that this video is about seeing how much we can make in total so that's definitely gonna add to the giveaway later on so pretty damn exciting well we just got 90 defense but i missed it because i didn't record but it's pretty cool pretty cool very happy and now it's gonna take a pretty long time couple of hours probably three hours before i even get an attack level so not the best but you know, we're grinding. Uh, the stats are now base 90 in combat, which is pretty damn cool. And uh, yeah, pretty excited for the future. I have a bunch of these left. Maybe we'll get a third whip, which would be kind of insane. But yeah, let's, uh, let's keep attacking. Well, I'll be completely honest. I did not expect to get another whip. The drop rate is not increased. The drop rate is 1 in 512. It is currently extremely late. So I'm trying to keep myself as quiet as possible. But that is another whip, that's the third whip. We're gonna be checking the, um, the log and see how many we've killed so far. But that is insanely lucky. Once again, that's an extra, oh, fuck me. Oh, I'm going to the bank fast. <laughs> but there we go, this guy tapped out. I do not wanna attack another one. I wanna tab out and make it safe. All right, another eight mil to the collection. That is insane. Let's see how many we have left on the task. We, are, we have 41 left, so quite a lot still. And if we check the log, we have killed in total 526. So we should have one whip, but we now have three. So I'm um, really, really lucky when it comes to that. I'm obviously gonna go ahead and finish the task, but that is really, really amazing. And there it is, 89 range coming through as well. All from cannoning, I think from 86 all the way to 89, just cannoning the tasks. So really, really good. This task takes about 40, 45 minutes to do. Um, I have eight left, so I'm almost done. And it's not very profitable, but the XP is pretty damn nice. I really enjoy it as well. It's kind of safe, but kind of dangerous at the same time. If I get hit by a team, I've got six brews to my name. And uh, well, those brews have to thank me all the way to the entrance pretty much. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead, finish the task and see what the next one will be. 100k from this fire giant task well let's call it 110k because of the calentines and the new one will be not gonna do worms what is next gargoyles there we go the task that we like to see and that one's gonna give us a lot of money i usually can expect every, anywhere between 500 to k to 1 million from a gargoyle task so let's go ahead and do it 
task is done takes a little bit over an hour to complete the gargoyle task and the grand total of 830k beautiful even more i'd say that one is close to 900k if i were to sell everything because of the bars and stuff like that so very very nice getting fairly close to those attack that attack level as well that slayer level very cool what is next Abby Spectres, trip number one, 26k plus 129k, 130 tasks from the second trip, and the new one is Hellhounds and the Ladies and the Gentlemen. That means we're gonna be attempting Cerberus. This is gonna be very scary, but at the same time, I do wanna stream it because I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. All right, let's start questing. I do wanna have piety before I start with Cerberus. So the first quest on the list is Rune Mysteries. Rune Mysteries completed. Jungle Potion completed. Shadow Village is also completed. 30 smithing. Here we go, 55 minutes later, one small favor is completed. Uh, prayer. There we go. Murder Mystery completed. 3 minutes later, and the Black Knight's Fortress is gonna be completed. Merlin Crystal done. Here we go, decent rewards from that one. Not a long quest, like 17 minutes or so. Here we go, extremely happy that this is now out of the way. I've done all of these quests so many times I hardly can still keep track. Let's get a little bit more XP in prayer because I don't know why. And now all we need to do is complete the fight ground. Are we done? I think we're done. There it is, more experience, but most importantly, piety is now unlocked on the account, so that means we can finally go ahead and do some Cerberus. Conveniently enough, I had my microphone muted for one of the most important uh, situations in Deadman mode so far. As you can see, I'm in combat with Cerberus and I get bolted by the PKer in basically full max. So I don't understand how he can attack me while I'm in combat and I'm getting hit by Cerberus 30s from the ghosts. I'm eating like crazy and this guy is chasing me, attacking me at the same time. I'm absolutely panicking here because I just took three 30s from ghosts. My prayer was drained because of the ghosts because I didn't pray against them because I got attacked by him. And at the same time, he was running after me with claws. I do believe he misclicked, though luckily I managed to escape. But that scared the crap out of me and that <laughs> basically made it so I will not be doing Cerberus. Definitely not on stream. I didn't know people can attack you while you're still in combat. That's just crazy to me. Uh, but nonetheless, I guess I somehow managed to escape. Um, and uh, that was a very, very scary moment. And then just moments later, I need to do another tank test because I get attacked and hellhounds by the guy in absolute max again. Uh, so here, I actually don't have a lot of food because I brought my cannon. And usually, if I bring my cannon, I sometimes go to bank and grab four more sharks or something. Well, this time, not the case. I was being a bit greedy. And as you can see, I don't have much food to work with. But luckily, he's alone. He doesn't have a team aside beside him. So the tank should be fairly easy. All I need to do is survive his special. I do know for a fact that he's most likely going to be going for AGS Gmol, just judging by the fact that he's, me as he's ranging and maging for the most part. So I'm expecting it at about this point right here. He goes for the magic, and now he's going to go for the melee. Um, after this range hit, there we go, melee right here, fakes into magic. I am late on the prayer, I'm blaming the USA Worlds for that, but at this point I know I'm pretty much safe because he has to run into me. I do believe he's gonna get Hellhound aggro, and at that point he's fucked because I can just tab out. So, um, hard escape, I think with 4 brews I'd be able to tank to the entrance if I had to as well. As you can see, he's still actually bolting me, so never mind. I'm, my prayer switches are a little bit off, I think, but there we go. There he gets hit, and that is my safety. Easy tab, I just spam click it, spam click it because Hellhounds are aggroed to him. Easy escape. Uh, there we go, 93 attack, I didn't even know that this level was coming. Very close to defense, very close to strength level, very close to HP level, very close to slayer level. We're gonna get some levels here, and um, yeah, still on the Hellhound task, very nice XP task, obviously. Got a pretty sketchy moment a bit earlier though, uh, but still, enjoying slayer. Hellhound task completed for a grand total of zero. Um, we're gonna go ahead and grab the 80th task in a row from Duradel. Uh, because he's gonna give us more points. Alright, let's see what Duradel gives us. Abby Specs? Sure, let's go ahead and do those as well. Well, 93 Slayer, we accomplished that one. Currently on the, I think, 80 of task in a row, which is kinda cool. I'm probably gonna shoot for about 90 tasks, and I think at that point it'll be about 24 hours. 
Um, obviously, I haven't exactly timed every single hour of it, but at that point, I do think it will be about between 20 to 24 hours of, uh, you know, progress in this video. So, um, yeah, let's just keep on going. Um, I guess the next level will be strength or defense, so let's look forward to that. Trip number one of Abby Spectres for a grand total of about 260k. 130k in the next trip and we have now completed 80 tasks in a row which is awesome we get a little bit of bonus points we get an anku task very simple very fast one let's go ahead and do it so we literally just achieved 97 hp and that is not all because we are also going to be achieving 91 defense all in literally one minute apart which is pretty cool i have about 40 left on the task as well so that's gonna take no time at all and we are almost 96 strength so we're getting that one in a couple of minutes as well do we get it you are trolling we actually don't get it in this simple quick task we have made about 45k let's round that up to 50k and uh, let's see what the next task is abyssal demons ladies and gentlemen we are going back who knows maybe we can uh, pull another whip um and let's quickly just hit this guy because we're gonna get a level there it is. Is it? Yeah, 96 strength. Beautiful stuff. 1 mil XP to 97. This one is gonna take a while. Abyssal Demon task done. We got about uh, 210k from that one. Takes about 2 hours to complete depending on how many you get. But let's see what a new one will be. No levels in that one though. Fire Giants. Ah, sure, I'll do it. 110k from the first trip. And then 70k in the very next trip. And the new task will be Enku. Sure, very fast task. Decent profit. Let's go and do it. 30k from Enkus. And the new task is Hellhounds. Well, we're definitely making zero money doing that one. But, uh, well, it's definitely a task I want to do just because the experience is amazing. So at that point in the video, I wanted to do a little bit more Slayer, a couple of more tasks, maybe three, four tasks more to completely finish the video. Unfortunately, though, I was getting attacked all a damn time like every time i would go in the cave i would get attacked so i decided to end the video right here the total profit um of this video is 11.8 million we're gonna round that up to 12 million um and we're gonna be doing a giveaway as i said on instagram so make sure you join that you follow there you comment your runescape cash just before we fully end the video though i will be showing you guys the swap so currently the swap rate is one to two so which means that if i have one million that old money i can swap it for two million or seven money so in grand total we made about 24 million 07 cash in this video so that comes up to be about a million hour just purely chill afk slayer i'm playing three accounts at the same time while i slay i don't play piety i don't flick i'm not efficient so very inefficient slayer and uh, we made about a million hours so really really awesome now before we fully end the video make sure you guys comment uh, what monster should i do next i'm really leaning towards gargoyles but if you have, if you guys have any other suggestions do let me know and once again let's jump into the swap and then conclude the video all right so here we are doing the swap the best way to swap is probably to join world 45 discord and then um you know go ahead and uh, find a trusty swapper there uh, but as you can see I'm getting 24 million on 07 and I'm giving 12 million on deadman mode. So as you can see, he accepted the 07 trade. Boom, we're 24 million richer and I accepted the deadman mode trade. So he is 12 million richer. And with that one being done, I really do hope you guys did enjoy this video. A simple like goes a long way. Make sure you leave the comment and join the, the Instagram giveaway. Thank you very much for watching. It was a pleasure and I'll see you very soon.